Nothing keeps me on track with my whole food plant-based diet more than simple, easy one-pot meals. These are our top five easiest ever stews. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. And this is Reeves. You know I'm all about cutting corners in the kitchen. If I can make something in one pot with as few steps as possible, it is definitely Well Your World approved. What do you think, Reeves? I think that I don't care what time of year it is, I'm gonna be eating a starchy stew every single week. I'm with you there. And these are the best five stews for exactly that. Reeves, you wanna get us started? We may even have a bonus. Number one is our delicious Irish stew. And don't wait for St. Patrick's Day to make this one. Do it all the time. This is such a good stew. I love the big chunks of potato and mushroom. It's such a hearty, rich broth. It's awesome in the wintery months, but it is perfect for me even in the hot months. I don't care. You know what I love about this one is you do not have to be an expert with the knife to make this stew because it has those thick, chunky vegetables. Yeah, good point. You do not have to be a chopster. A chopster, a chop extraordinaire. Try out this Irish stew right away. Number two is an African peanut stew that I made from the NHA's Health Science Magazine recently. This is such a good stew. We didn't come up with it, but I love it. We made it with sweet potatoes, but I've also made it with butternut squash, frozen butternut squash to save on chopping and easy, easy prep time. You like this one? I love this one. And actually after we did that video, we ended up mushing it a little bit. And that made it even better somehow. Yeah, a little immersion blender in this one would really do the trick. I love this recipe. Try it out right away. By the way, be sure to click down below. Reeves has made you a beautiful blog post with all of the recipes from this video. You want to check that out. Number three is our, or maybe I should say my world famous, Well Your World Chili recipe. Did you invent this one? It is the first ever recipe I invented for Well Your World. Is that so? Yeah, so it means a lot to me, both emotionally and physically. This is a really good chili recipe. What's that secret ingredient? Remember it? There's two secret ingredients, cinnamon and cocoa powder. Whoa, don't tell anybody, but make this right away and go ahead and spread the word. The other thing I love about chili is you can smother it on top of anything. Put it on a baked potato, put it on your cheese fries, load it up. We even have a cornbread recipe on the channel that goes really well with this one. Yeah. I'll try it. Number four is my Instant Pot Baked Ziti. There is nothing baked about it at all, except that commonly it is a baked ziti in traditional oh. standard American land, mm -hmm. but we do it in the Instant Pot. I've been making this one for a few years and we only just recently put it up on YouTube. It's probably my favorite recipe next to Starch Blaster mm -hmm. for fast, easy Instant Pot. Throw everything in, turn it on, and you've got the most delicious hearty stew. I love the gluten-free pasta that we use. It holds its texture really well yeah. in the Instant Pot. The tomatoes, all the flavoring, everything just comes together so fast and easy, and you can be eaten in 30 minutes. I love this recipe. It's so delicious. And a lot of people ask about that one. Can you make it on the stove? Yes, you can make it on the stove. We've made this on a propane stove camping before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, it just takes a little longer. Just let it simmer. It'll be done when it's done. Mm -hmm. And everything that you make on the stove, you can make in the Instant Pot. Usually the rule of thumb with the Instant Pot is to cook it for a third of the cooking time that it would have been on the stove. Nice hack, all right. Number five is our freezer jambalaya, and I call it that because it's made almost exclusively with things that you can keep on the freezer, things that are canned, and if you're lucky enough to have our Voodoo Spice Blend, this makes it so delicious. There is nothing easier than opening a few bags of frozen veggies, throwing them in a pot, heating it up, and you're done. There's like no chopping needed, I love this recipe. So fast, so easy. And you can make a big batch that'll last you for days. Do we have time for a couple bonuses, Reese? Because there are some more one pot stews I cannot leave out. Yeah, of course we do. Bonus number one is our red lentil chili. And this one is vastly different than our other chili because it's made with the red lentils that kind of get really soft and mushy. And it's got kind of like a sweet and savory flavor. And it is so delicious. Talk about a baked potato topper. Ooh. That's a good one too. Do check out the red lentil chili. This is also one of our newer YouTube videos, so get on that. Bonus number two is my starch blaster. Never miss, this is one of my earliest recipes because when I was working hard at Well Your World, I ate this like every day before I met you, by the way. Mm -hmm. People are emailing me and letting me know all the time that they love the starch blaster. It is so fast and easy. You're literally just throwing dry ingredients in the Instant Pot, turning it on, and boom, you're gonna love it. Food in a pinch, there's nothing better than that. What I love about the starch blaster is it's more of a formulator than a recipe. You can make it any which way you want. You did make a really nice starch blaster formulator. I forgot about that. That's got all kinds of different options because you can totally switch it up with the different ingredients. I love that. Thanks mm -hmm. for the formulator, Reeves. You can download the starch blaster formulator down below as well. So don't delay. Make these stews today. Y'all click right here to watch a playlist with all the videos we just mentioned, our favorite stews, and thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.